we're finally here. We finally arrived in our final destination on this incredible and very eventful road trip of Sin. So we now just have one more tiny jump across the river Indus in that boat and we'll make it to Satbel Island right here in Sakar. So as they say in Sindhi, San, hello? <laughs> the Hindu temple right here on this island was built in the early 19th century. And still today, it is considered to be one of the most important Hindu sites in the world. Every year, it continues to attract pilgrims from as far as India and Nepal. So I see already there's a lot of Hindu heritage here, a lot of Hindu history. You know, this beautiful temple, gate, decorations that actually remind you of, of things that you find in India. Go and check it out. Throughout my entire journey in Sindh, but most specifically right here on Sadbelo Island, I noticed so many signs of Sindh's famous interfaith harmony. Right here in this temple, representations of Guru Nanak, of Hindu deities, and even of Jule Lal, who is considered to be one of the most prominent Sufi mystics. All of them existing side by side. That sin, diverse, spiritual, in places magical and filled with so many stories. Stories that not many of us know out here in this world. But that's, that's sin. Understated, but majestic in that beautiful, mysterious elegance. I think this is a place that needs a lot more than just a few days for you to truly understand, truly comprehend and to truly get under the skin of everything that is part of Sindh. So here's to many more returns.